Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. This is me Mr. P and in this video I will show you the Audacity alternative on Android that works perfectly on Samsung DeX. Let's begin. Audacity is basically a audio editing software available on Windows and I do believe on Mac as well. There is on Linux version as well and the Audacity is a free and the what Audacity gives you is a bunch of features that you can use to manipulate your audio track, you can re remove the background noise. You make your you can make your voice sound a bit more bassy, more punchy, etc., etc., etc. So all these things that's what Audacity allows you to do. And it, I started to look if there is anything that is working or similar or alternative or as close as possibly to Audacity that will work on Android and more specifically within Samsung Dex. So I have an app for you which is called Mixpad Free, and that's what we're going to do in this video. I will show you the, roughly what Mixpad free um, how the app looks like what you can do with it and etc so if i go to app draw and search for word mix he'll go there mix pad free shows up so i'm gonna run that okay let me close that this is a thing that i tested before recording this video so this is the mix pad free uh free version of the app if you like this app and you like to have all the features available you can click on the purchase button and it's gonna basically take you to this page where you can pay eight pounds 99 pence here in great britain or it's going to be like a US dollars or whatever country you are trying to download this to use it or you just you can go and spend like just less than three pounds for first month and then just try out and see if it's something for you you can carry on or you just uh, pay a full amount straight up front I'm going to use a free version because a free version does exactly what I want and that is remove the background noise in, as soon as you launch the app basically that's what you will get the main window you have one single track and a lot of tabs at the top so you have home Recording, editing, playback, track, clips, effects, tools, and mixing. So home is basically your standard one. Open the project, save the project, etc., etc. The recording is that you can record the track, uh, audio track straight into this app. So that's what I'm going to do. Once I press record, I do believe the microphone built in into Galaxy Tab S6 will be picked up. And that's where the audio will come from. So it gives me a beat counting down from five and is right now recording the audio directly into this app. Obviously the tablet is about a feet and a half away from me. So audio quality not going to be that great. Plus I'm using a built-in mic, not something like, a, like this one Rode uh, USB mic. So we're going to stop here. Go back and see what we have. Down from five and it's right now recording. It's recording very, very quiet. This app. Obviously the tablet's about uh, feet yeah, and it's, away from me, so audio quality is It's actually really quiet. quiet. So like let's see if I can work. Oh, that's the wrong wrong dial. So anyway, this is just recording into uh and like I said, I'm quite far well about two feet, maybe feet and a half away from the tablet. So it's not the great uh, audio quality. I tested this app before recording this video with my Rode NT USB mic, and this app does pick picking up the USB mics and the mic if you're gonna connect into a headphone jack if your phone has a headphone jack, and it will be picked up and obviously you can use that mic once it's connected. So instead of me trying to record something into the tablet, I'm gonna go into the tracks. Oh no no not the tracks. Hold on. Where is it? I'm already lost. You go into clip a tab. I'm going to click, press load. And that's a noisy audio sample. This is the sample that I recorded before recording this main video uh, while the 3D printer was doing his job. And I was using this mic to record into the Galaxy Tab S6 while it was inside the DeX to get this audio. So that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to click OK. And now if I'm going to try to play back. Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. In this video I will show you Audacity alternative for Samsung DeX. So that's basically an edited file that I recorded before recording this video and that's what we're going to use uh, to get this all, all set up, all tested and I'm just basically, I'm going to show you actually only the noise removal feature. Um, I'm not used this app that much that I would be at position saying this is the best thing you can use for this kind of things but I used it enough just to basically make a video about it because I like the way this app works and it looks more PC like app than more like an Android mobile app if you know what I mean like for example if you you're using other apps inside the Samsung Dex when you open up it feels like it's just a mobile version of the app just, but increased in size just to make this full screen of your ultra wide monitor 1080p display this one when it's like as you can see maximized on a on a take all 1080p um, screen it feels more like a pc version more like a computer version app so that's what i like about this one right so we have this 
Okay, let's go back to recording. Like I said, this is can you record straight away in and then loop timelines, etc. etc. You can do here editing. So usually copy, paste, slice, and trim and etc. etc. That's what you can do here. And the playback, you basically loop a metronome, launch, launch a metronome, and etc. And the tracks, that's what we just um, uh, you know, we use clips. The tracks, you can add multiple tracks. So you can add, I think, up to 10, maybe. And then you need to make a payment to get the uh, old tracks. But I'm just using one, so that's plenty. So as you can see, I'm just selecting the track and deleting. You always need to have one track. You can't delete the last one. Uh, you can rename it. So this is right now, it says an untitled track. So we can rename it. It's going to say this one, YT video. So it stands for YouTube video. I'm going to click OK. And at the moment, it's there. I can obviously collapse on collapse just to make sure that it's uh, like taking less space but that's fine i'm using one track and it's fine obviously once you buy a full version you're going to use a bunch of the tracks it's easier to rename and then make sure what you see collapse all of them expand all of them etc on the clips yeah we can record or load the track and all the nice other features delete reverse split etc etc and the effects you can add all sorts of effects you can though equalizer you can add like if i go to effects chain it opens a new window and that's you can add all sorts of stuff. I haven't messed with them at all, but like you can add uh, towards the tremolo. I don't even half of them. I don't even know what they, they actually supposed to mean. Echo, roughly I know it's probably going to add the echo to my voice, etc. But obviously, if you are very into the music and um, music of audio editing, you know what all these things are. On the tools, um, the where you can manipulate the track in a different way and that's the we're going to use so right now uh you can see a timeline if i'm going to use a mouse wheel i can zoom in and out so we're just going to zoom in a bit and then using left click to move around so we're just going to make sure that I, i'm seeing um i'm seeing as much track as i can so let's start playing and see what's happening so right now nothing there should be a background noise happening of the printer. hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. great so what I'll do, I'm going to first, like same on Audacity, I need to select the sample of the noise before I can go and do anything. I'm wondering what this is part in there. So um, this is where it starts and uh, obviously the printer is going. Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. In this video, I will show you Audacity alternative for Samsung DeX. And I think I just done a loop and this loops again. Hello everybody yes, and thanks double. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna use this anyway. Right, so I'm gonna click and hold and select. Uh okay, I'm gonna just drag this one to the left, drag this pin a bit more to the left, and this is where my noise happening of the printer. I'm gonna click on this under tools, clean up clips. I'm click on this, I'm gonna say grab noise sample from selected area. I'm gonna say yep, and right now it's just basically taking this sample and it's storing as a noise template. And now I just deselect go back and i'm going to say spectral subtraction based on the noise sample why I'm not saying just noise removal i don't know that's that's basic terminology i click on that and now it just okay uh, i had a selected very short track so let me try again right nothing is selected and now i need to go on here and say yes okay so select the track and this way here we go now he's doing noise sampling applying noise sampling and basically this is doing the same thing as audacity just using the noise sample applying across entire track and that noise that pitch that noise if if the app app detects that noise somewhere while i'm talking etc it just removes it or trying to remove it and that's what's basically happening the speed of this process obviously going to be the same as on audacity depending on the length of the track is going to take longer or shorter this one takes like well, i don't know 10 minutes not 10 minutes what i'm talking about 10 seconds or so just because i have like a 15 seconds track maybe so let's wait for this to finish and once it's done we're going to play back so um still doing it that's okay while it's doing i just would like to mention that if you like these videos just subscribe to my channel. I do all these kind of things about Samsung Dex. And if you need help, just let me know. Just ask me in the comment section below or on Instagram or Twitter or send me an email or just go to Google Samsung Dex subreddit group and on the Reddit. That's where over 13,000 people are currently. Um, they are currently, we have 13,000 members. They, each of them are ready to help you and sort your Samsung Dex problem. So let's play that back. 
so noise it looks like it's gone hello everybody and thank you very much for watching in this video i'm not sure if you can hear but it sounds it sounds cleaner decks. it sounds definitely cleaner so let's let's go through a rest of them and she's gonna talk again hello the same everybody thing. here we go so this is a mixpad free android app available in google play store for free uh there is an ad but as you can see ads at the bottom and then a square box and they're so small i don't even notice them so this is uh the app like i said i haven't used that this app that much just to go through every single option and this video is not me trying to teach you how to use this app this video is more to show you that these kind of apps exist and this is one of them uh which is called mixpad free i leave a link in description below for you to go and check it out if you would like to download this app same um you will find the link to a samsung deck subreddit group um, if you want to go and check it out, I will leave my social links as well. If you want to go and follow me and just drop me a question about Samsung Dex. So thank you much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.